Y'all asked me if I have a boyfriend, which was funny to me. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Andrea Silvestro and here we are with another sit down talking video. But I today wanted to answer a few of your questions, like some burning questions that everyone has to get to know me a, better, a bit better, etc. Before all that, I wanted to let you guys know I'm releasing a new song, hopefully this Friday, you can pre-save it or next Friday, TBD. I'm trying to work on that. I'm mixing it right now and sending it off. So link below if you wanna support me. First, before we get into the questions, this video is actually sponsored by Ana Luisa. I'm so happy about this. As you guys know, I could talk about Ana Luisa in my sleep. They are a jewelry company that specializes in super pretty dainty jewelry that is affordable, high quality, tarnish free, hypoallergenic, all the things you could want if you're looking for longevity in your jewelry. I love being able to wear their pieces every single day. And if you've seen on this channel, I literally do wear them every day. I wear them in the shower because they're tarnish free. They sent me four new pieces, so I'm super excited about them. I got this May ring, another bracelet, the May necklace, and then this is like a Mekon necklace I always have on with the flowers. If you're looking for something this holiday season to give someone that you love, I definitely recommend checking out their website. They have tons of stuff. Their necklaces are some of my favorites. Literally, I have bought my friends for their birthdays for Christmas, like Ana Luisa things. And usually it's like a necklace or a pair of earrings or both. So I don't totally recommend. They're great because they're super cute, but also they're tarnish free, which means they don't lose their color over time. You can wear them every day in the shower. That's what I do now. Now that I have all my Ana Luisa, I've been wearing it like literally religiously every day. It kind of spices up all the outfits, spices up the look. I really love them. Additionally, they have a two year warranty if you have any issues. They have great customer service, etc. So if you wanna check them out, I totally recommend doing that, especially for the holiday season. They have an up to 35% off sale. You can use my link. And yes, I honestly always love talking about Ana Luisa. I could do it in my sleep, but they're great. Feel free to support me, support the channel. Thanks to them again. So we'll get on with your questions. You guys asked some juicy ones. Why are you so beautiful and lovely singer as well? You know, okay, hype me up in my comments, guys. I feel like at the core of the comment, why am I a lovely singer? I feel like it's a lot of practice and just over time getting better at it. Where do I belong from? I belong from the US. I'm actually born and raised here in America. Basic question, I guess. If you can go to one concert, which one will you go to? I don't know if you guys know who this is, but Fred again, oh my gosh, I would love to see him. He's a DJ, but he's like honestly the best DJ because he's super musical, but also like, type techno kind of vibes. So I love him very much. So him and Troy Sivan are like the people I need to see next. Or Phoebe Bridgers again, because she was freaking incredible. So yeah. Do you have stage fright? If you know me, then you have seen visible growth in my journey like over the years on YouTube. Like if you go back to the old videos, I should do a reaction videos to my old videos. I think I would die. But you can tell like I was so much like more insecure, like really hyper focused on how I sounded at all times. I was always nitpicking everything. Like it was honestly really unhealthy to be honest, but I have become a lot more confident in myself and also my abilities as an artist and also realized like things like this don't really matter. Like messing up doesn't matter. No one cares. No one's gonna comment about it. And I think that's kind of giving me peace in a certain way. So I used to have like extreme stage fright because I was so like self-conscious awkward like very shy but at this point i've become a lot better at it like i feel like i would still get nervous i mean i haven't really performed in a while so maybe i still do have stage fright but overall i feel like overall my personality has become a lot more outgoing and i've become a lot more confident in myself which is honestly a very big a big necessity in this world if you've seen the old videos you understand it's been a lot of visible growth moving on is dimash your favorite singer I feel like favorite singer is a strong word, but I do really appreciate him. Love you guys always hyping him up in the like, comment section. Do you have plans to make an album? I do. I will be releasing a song soon. I'm planning on turning all my trauma into music as one always does. Th that is on the way if you're curious. What qualities do I like most from a vocalist? As you know, we do a lot of like reactions on this channel and I always kind of talk about like vocal technique, things I really like when I'm listening to. But I think like the biggest things for me are like really, really good emotional connectivity, as well as 
like I really like soft, delicate, fluttery, airy voices. That's kind of what I gravitate towards. I really like Phoebe Bridgers. I think her voice is so incredible. Like Aurora, like things like that. Those are some of my favorites. So I wanted to put this question at the front, but then I was like, well, you guys have to keep watching to find out. Just kidding. But y'all asked me if I have a boyfriend, which was funny to me. And I do not. At this moment, I am single and just kind of going through this transitional period in my life, trying to focus on myself and get myself established, etc. And also things have been kind of a little unlucky in the last little bit of time, which is why I have so many songs, guys. Like, so once there's a good song up and up and running that's like a little bit less like sad, then you'll know that I will be in like some fun little relationship. But at the moment, I am not. Your voice is just amazing, thank you. What things do you do to make your singing like this? I feel like I'm probably like the worst person to learn from because I don't really have a singing routine. And I feel like three months of the year, I'm always sick with some illness. So I'm not practicing actively for like three months of the year. Just kidding, but also kind of. I feel like overall, it's mostly just from listening to a lot of music as a child, emulating it, singing it back and kind of finding my sound in some kind of ways. That's kind of been my process. Like I don't really have a crazy like convoluted explanation for um exercises that i do or this this and that i don't know like also listening to a lot of like really good singers has inspired me who are your musical influences not to be so extremely hyper basic but i feel like some of the first people to kind of get me into music were taylor swift and i know that everyone's into taylor swift now but i was back in the day like debut like speak now fearless that was my eras like i listened to everything religiously i went to all the concerts like i was Taylor Swift stan even when it wasn't cool to be but I really think it's important to know like how much influence she's had on just pop culture in general and also just women in guitar like I think seeing her sing her song right and use guitar in her performances inspired me to want to be like that and want to learn how to play guitar so she inspired me to play guitar First off, so I feel like she's honestly at the heart of like a big reason why I am who I am and like why I've decided to, you know, go into the guitar direction. And it's kind of wild to think about that, how it traces back to her. But I would say she was a big part. But currently, I feel like my bigger musical influences are like Lizzie McAlpine, Phoebe Bridgers. I would say right now, like the singer songwriter indie scene is more of where I find my inspiration, but always Taylor Swift will be there because she's like a lyrical goddess. If you wanted me to go on a mini rant right there. What is your songwriting process? Do you find it easy to come up with lyrics? So if you guys know, in the last two years, I've kind of gone through it a little bit. And while that has not been great for my emotional state and my emotional stability, it has been pretty invaluable for my songwriting. And it's something that I realized, especially looking back, like the song that I'm releasing very soon is about like the first guy I ever fell in love with and like also the first guy that I ever was heartbroken by. So, you know, like looking back, like I was so distraught, like I felt like my whole life was over. Not actually, but I felt so numb and sad and I couldn't like even live or exist without like thinking about it. I couldn't distract myself, like it was so bad. Like it took me having to go to another country for study abroad, like literally far away from everything for me to finally heal. And that was like kind of the most dramatic way to heal, but it was definitely needed tiny rant over but i feel like it really showed me that i could kind of come from a more emotional place and write music because before that i kind of struggled a little bit more with like writing songs or writing this or writing that and i think like overall listening to more music like singer songwriter indie all that plus like going through it a little bit like kind of taught me oh i have like these experiences that are very hype very detailed that I can draw from. And even if I'm not releasing them everywhere, which I am, but it's still good for my musicianship to have like these moments. And I was talking with my friend recently about this. It's so wild when you write a song because you're just like in the moment feeling these emotions and you put it down, you don't like look at it for a while, you come back to it and you've completely forgotten that you wrote it. I guess like you're in like this very hyper emotional state where I guess the memories are not being formed because some songs I'm like, who wrote this? Cause it was not me if I'm being quite honest. Like I don't remember doing this at all. My songwriting process has been like more focused on me going through something and then having like that memory solidified through music. It's like being able to look back and see like the eras of time and also the growth and the healing. I'm like, wow, like this was really, I was crying writing this song and now I can sing it and I don't even, 
feel like tears could even form at this point. It's more just like a reflective moment. Oh, you know it's a disastrous video when the lighting starts getting whack already after the wet lighting is already bad. That was so convoluted and dramatic, but yeah, you're here to hear me speak, I guess. Who is my favorite artist right now? I think I already kind of said this, but my Spotify wrapped was like Taylor Swift, Troye Sivan, the 1975. But I feel like I'm more in the indie scene. I don't know. Plus Taylor Swift. But one of my favorite artists albums right now was like, I really loved the Troye Sivan album. It was so good. Oh my gosh, go listen to it, please. BTS will always be up there too. Like Jungkook's new album, so proud of him. Love. What's your number one favorite thing in Japan slash someone else asked me, favorite place I've traveled so far. So if you don't know, I have a series on this channel where I do like travel vlogs because I spent the summer in Japan and I had like all this content that I didn't edit until like way after. And now it's getting kind of released like sporadically. If you want, I'll put the little playlist down below. But I feel like my favorite places that I've traveled, like I love Japan. I really hope to go back. Like that's my goal. Like if I get into this teaching program, like I'm, literally gonna be gone uh, off the face of the earth for a little bit. I really love Japan, one of my favorite places. I also loved my Europe adventure. I really love Italy always. Budapest I really liked as well. Like I thought that was such an awesome place. Like the nightlife was like, crazy. I loved Portugal too. I would say Barcelona cause I loved it, but I was ill like the whole time I was there. So like that's kind of like tainting the memory a bit. Oh yeah, my number one favorite thing in Japan was just how nice everyone was, the scenery, the food. It was just overall so safe as well. Like I have a whole video about this that I'm gonna post within the next little bit and I'll like explain in depth, but that's some faves of mine. Anyways, those are some questions you guys asked me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I didn't go on too many rants. Yeah, I kind of ranted a bit in this video, but I just wanted to let you guys know again, Thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring this video. I adore them. As you know, I wear them in every video at this point. Like, come on, Drea loves Ana Luisa. If you wanna get something for your significant other or a woman in your life, then you should definitely check them out. Affordable, great prices, etc. But if you wanna also check out my music, that is coming out soon. Feel free to use the link below. And if you have any other questions, whenever I do another one of these videos, feel free to let me know as well. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. And if you made it this far, thanks for making through all my rants. I, you're a real one and you should comment if you made it all the way through. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys very much, especially if you made it this far. And for all the love on the December videos, it's been a little bit hectic doing a video every day, but it's also been really rewarding. So thank you so much for watching, supporting, leaving nice comments, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And this city's never had something for me As you know from all of my stories